Oh yeah? This one? Oh that one? Is he? He did for both dogs, he just laid down instantly and oh, He's submissive. <laughs> so cute. Alright guys. He's awesome. I didn't make it to the Oh yeah. Well, you missed, you missed the you missed the big hit. the big hubbub. I did, yes. <laughs> Okay, Sam, tell me all about the dog park. Well, from, from, right, right from, now... From the beginning. From the beginning? Yeah, yeah let's see, we'll, see, we'll see, tell everybody, because who doesn't know about it? Who hasn't been following you? Well, so we started fundraising in July 2015 for the Fitchburg Dog Park, and here we are, August 2018, and it's come to fruition. We uh, still have a few things to button up, like signage, uh, but for the most part, it's pretty much done. Now, I see two sections here, though. Why, why two sections? We have the small dog area over here, which is a little bit smaller than the large dog area. Large dog, it's, it's, the approximate cutoff is about 30 pounds. So, mm -hmm. 30 pounds and under, 30 pounds and above, you use your best judgment. That's where that cutoff is. But this way, the big, giant dogs don't trample the little, tiny dogs. Jackson, Jackson's a little dog now. Hey Jackson, but he can hang with the big dogs. Wow. Hey Jackson. I want him to come in there, but you know how he is. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Jackson, Jackson's the humper. Yeah. So. <laughs> so, 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 tell me, actually, why you wanted that to have this done? So the parks board um, came to the community with the request to do the dog park. The parks park. board. The, the park. parks board did. Actually, Brenda put in a petition to city council back in early 2015, yeah. right? And uh, then it went to the Parks Commission, and they came to the community and asked for help uh, to put on a dog park, and largely because they argued that people brought their dogs into the soc softball fields and the soccer fields and used them as makeshift dog parks. So the dogs would go in, make a big mess, and they wouldn't clean, sometimes people wouldn't clean it up, and kids are sliding, and it's a big, big problem. So they came to the community, asked for us to help make a dog park. I came to that first meeting, so did Brenda. Yeah. So did a few other people that are on the committee now, and we're like, all right, let's do this. And here we are. And now how'd you become the one that headed this whole thing up? Oh, well, you know, it's in that meeting. It's like, okay. All right, first thing we got to do is do like a, a plan and everything. And, and you know, it was, it was clear we needed some, some leadership. So I was like, all right, I, I know how to draw things. I'll draw the plan. We'll start a Facebook page. We'll make, we'll make a group. We'll get this thing going. And then within two months, from May to July, we uh, we had the plan approved by the Parks Board and a non-profit funded. 
So I have a good team, you know, with the with the friends. Brenda is our vice president of our dog park team. But uh, yes, yeah, so I mean, it couldn't have been done without without all the volunteers, all the support from everybody in the community that wants the dog park, really. And uh, what what do you still have to do? You said a few things to button up. So uh, you know, to finalize this part from the contractor, the signage. So we need a sign that says large dog area, sign that says small dog area. We need dog park rules sign, and I don't know what other various signs that they have planned that are necessary. But then after that point, it's clear from using this park that we need two trash cans, right? As you can see by our, our bags, uh -huh. we need uh, more. We need those poop dispensers inside the park. We need one on each side, um, and from there maybe we'll we'll see maybe a shed with tools that we can have like pooper scoopers and, yep. and extra so can, bags and a hose and that we could run to that spigot to spray this down if we needed or little things like that and we'll see once we use the park more what we need what what we want yep. a bulletin board a community yep. bulletin community board so we know what events are going on yep. stage for you know shows yeah. doggy <laughs> yeah doggy park stage well, we have a lot of events yeah. coming up I mean, yeah Yep, we have a Halloween costume parade that's coming up. Here? Yep, it's the Sunday before mm -hmm. uh, Halloween. We're going to have doggies in costume. Last year we did it, we did it, and it was a pouring rain. It was awesome. And yes. there were 40 dogs registered, and I don't know how many didn't register. Uh, and blast. the pouring rain, and it was awesome. It was fun. Oh, yeah. Great. So this year it's going to be great weather, and it'll be super fun. It'll be even bigger. And then next year, you know, like we did the grand opening, I'd like I'd like to do a Fitchburg Dog Festival. Every year. Yeah. Dog Day. With a dog, yeah, Fitchburg Dog Day with vendors and games and yes. food. And, oh, the yeah. park is, you can use the park for all kinds of great things. Oh, yeah. It brings community together. Yeah. Yeah. Who's this guy? It's Poppy. Poppy? So, so, so how long are you, you going to yeah. stay on the yeah. board yeah. and help this thing out? We'll see. I have no plans to leave. <laughs> We're gonna keep keep going as long as we can. Keep we helping. Got, we got but we have the nonprofit set up so that you know we can keep fundraising in perpetuity for maintenance for this park or whatever future phases we want, like doggy splash park area, which would be amazing. Hey, 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 hey! So, so, so the town is not uh, for, working up any money for this park at all. No, nope. I mean the you know the Fitchburg DBW uh, maintains the grass like they like they do inside inside the entire park like they did before the fence was up, and uh, you know what I'm, I would imagine that uh, the water will be shut off uh, you know during the winter from the pool house because all all of this water comes from a line through the pool uh, underground to the pool house. And then I would imagine maybe the water department has to blow out some lines. Other than that, you know, we, we have general maintenance. They pick up the excess dog poop trash, you know, but uh, this is largely privately funded and uh, from and, and donated, you know, from, from private donations as well. So this is it's really not a burden to the city, it's, but it is quite the opportunity. Now, now tell me, how do you know the sizes of the small dog park? Area? It's it's about 0.8 acres for the entire dog park. Mm -hmm. uh, so and it's not it's not 0.4 and 0.4. So I would guess maybe 0.25 acres. Mm -hmm. 0. 0.3, 0. 0.5, 0. 0.25, 0. 0.55, something like that. Mm -hmm. So okay. I'd say this is this, this is probably half an acre in the large dog park. Excellent, excellent. And how and how pleased are you guys that this is all done finally, and that you can. Uh, grand opening we had hundreds of dogs it was uh, and there was no dog fights there was hardly even any barking it was incredible it was awesome oh yeah and now and I've come back here about three times since the grand opening on Sunday 
And every time there's dogs. I was here yeah. uh, this morning earlier, and there was a girl saying that she brings her dog down here every night, and for the first time in three years that she's on the dog, the dog slept through the night. Uh -huh. The dog's sleeping through the night because they're getting exercise. Oh, yeah. They're you know they're super active. They're getting exhausted. It's a little hot today, but um, yeah, a little hot to be running, huh? Cooler. And we're but uh, yeah, they're enjoying it on a daily basis, so it's yeah. fabulous. Oh yeah, a lot of lot of poop. A lot of poop. <laughs> Oh, the, especially in the large dog part that fills up quick. <laughs> so you can see it's heavily used. And people are being responsible. Very. Yeah. I, you know what? I walked around here this morning just to kind of see if I saw any extras and nothing. And even the girls that I've been watching, people, they're all picking up after themselves. So. Ooh. Hopefully good start. Good start. I get a good start. Yep. Yeah. I have heard a couple complaints. Uh, one, one person wrote on the Facebook that. They love everything, everything's great, but one person, they didn't like that my dog was coming up to their dog, so he hit my dog on the head and told him to calm down. And we were, you know, myself and my family didn't like that, so we took our dog and we left. So, you know, it's not the only fault of the dog park, but I just want to let you know. Yeah. So we put out a PSA on the Facebook. Yeah, don't, don't touch other don't people's touch dogs. Other, just like you wouldn't touch other people's just, kids, don't touch other people's dogs. Yep, that's right. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if you're arguing, you're going to try to calm them both down, but that's different. Yeah, that's different. But everyone's getting along. If they don't get along, they move about. That's what's great about having a big space. Yeah. After the grand opening, there were all kinds of pictures of people with their dogs passed out. Dog on the ground, like, oh, after the dog park. And somebody donated bowls so we can have bowls all the we have a there's a like a do, like an automatic bowl in the front for dogs, but someone decided uh, we need big bowls for the water spigots on each side, so they donated these big bowls, and these have gotten like a lot of use. So the big bowls are good. Yeah. Awesome. Well, let's. I'm gonna take some pictures now of this dog park, and uh, everyone bring your dog down and uh, try it out. <laughs>